Hi, my name is Anna Kriska Dyrit, and we are going to talk about effective leadership. Well, I was looking through services and products that I'm currently using and loving, and I am a creative person. I love to draw, painting, and designing. And if you look into my iPad, you'll see that I have at least five apps for digital illustration, three apps for note taking, four apps for editing photos, and two apps for video editing, and most of them I actually paid for. I'm not kidding. And honestly, I am religiously using just one app of each type. And one of those apps is called Canva. And no, it's not a habit of mine to look into these apps like who created them. I only came to know about the CEO of Canva from news, like a friend of mine shared it on Facebook. And that's when I knew that it's a she and a halfie, you know, a fellow Aussie. And I truly admire Melanie Perkins' ambition, persistence, and determination. She mentioned that Canva was her crazy big idea in her interview with CNBC. And despite knowing the big players in the design and publishing industry and the laboriousness of realizing her vision, she she continued with tenacity and in the articles and blogs that I've read she never fails to mention her big dreams her vision and that is important it was the foundation of what her business has become she's just a perfect example of from rags to riches story and I find myself drawn to ambitious people like her because I have big dreams too too big that sometimes I'm even scared to mention it like I'm crazy to even think about it the career path that I have chosen may be different from Perkins but how she took the path is what made me decide to look more into her life and work because eventually you know with my MBA I am going to be a leader plus after knowing that she's a Filipino Aussie lady boss well it made me more curious and interested it made me feel and think that that if she can do it, heck, I can do it too. <laughs> as Melanie Perkins once said, you can only grow as big as your dreams. When I read a kind of culture and how they establish it, Perkins always encourages her team to look ahead, see what you can be in five to 10 years. She's fueled by strong vision. It was the ground of where she built her company. It basically started as a dream, a sense of purpose, and then a vision so clear that it made a company from the ground to a $40 billion valuation up, according to Forbes. And of course, as mentioned, a sense of purpose. Another significant key that, in my opinion, impacted her business so much. If her vision was the ground, the sense of purpose is the foundation that keep the business standing and growing level by level without collapsing. Perkins once said in her interview in CNBC that people would have spent an entire semester learning where the buttons were and it seemed ridiculous. And she thought that in the future, it was going to be online and collaborative and much simpler than this really hard tool. I've tried one of those tools and it got me really frustrated with crying in the middle of the night because I can't get it right. Simply want an easy to use and understand editing platform. And just like other people out there, the normal people to make a logo, a Facebook post, an Instagram, students with presentations, and small business owners and this led her to a purpose why creating have to be expensive and time-consuming why not make it user-friendly and free that's where canva steps in with certain limited access of course because you have to subscribe to have a access for everything that we have in canva she is very strategic and targeting these people that's why her company grew incredibly right where the pandemic started and according to canva they continue to double more in sales on a pace to reach a one billion dollar annualized revenue by december 2021. The vast majority of that sales is the reoccurring subscription revenue, according to Forbes 2021. Perkins said in her Forbes interview, it shouldn't matter where you are in the world or socioeconomic status or your skills and experience. Everyone should have the ability to design. The best thing with having a purpose, you are not blinded by wealth. Perkins and partners pledged to give away 30% of Canva to their foundation for charitable causes. If the whole thing was about building wealth, that would be the most uninspiring thing I could possibly imagine. Perkins' leadership style is definitely not monotonous. Rather, it is a mix of participative, entrepreneurial, strength-based, charismatic, based on her videos. She's transformational, strategic, and remote just right after the pandemic started. But reading blog after blog and article after article, there are two factors that really stood about her. She embodied the two dimensions of leadership behavior. It is a research conducted by Stockdale and published in 1963. It's initiated structure and consideration. The dimensions of leadership behavior was a study that surveyed a group of people about their perception of their supervisors. And these two stood out. Let's just say that it's the formula for good leadership. 
Consideration is the soft skills, while initiating structure is the technical hard skills. Perkins did not have the technical skill creating the software or developing Canva itself, but she did have the vision and the strategy of how to realize that vision. She established realistic goals, steps, and tactics in assigning these baby steps to relevant people to align with the bigger goals. Perkins wrote that Canva have a goal-driven culture. She always talked about discussing to her people about dreaming big dreams, foreseeing the future, Perkins made sure to include her staff in the process. One of the reasons for success of Canva, in her words, teams who dream together, achieve together. Perkins participates and gets involved in making vision boards with her team and work together to get it. According to Robert Kahn and Daniel Katz's research about productivity, closeness of supervision is one of the factors of high productivity. And group relationships and cohesiveness is a major determinant of productivity. That's where consideration in the dimension of leadership operates. From a tool for amateurs to a tool for companies like American Airlines, Zoom, Intel, now uses Canva for their social media assets to sales and human resource presentations. Canva measures their leadership effectivity by targets achieved. When Canva more than doubles in sales in reoccurring subscription, Melanie Perkins says they are moving in the right direction. Perkins describe a two-step plan for maximum impact. Become one of the most valuable companies in the world and do the best we can do. And guess what? Canva was listed in Forbes Cloud 100 list of top private companies and has become the world's most valuable startups business in Forbes 2021. The biggest take for me is her unorthodox heart for purpose. As I read about how much Canva is earning and the vast majority of it she's giving away, it really made me rethink about my dreams that I have for myself. Her business probably going even higher years from now. I know there will be a time companies like this to experience a dive due to factors like competitors, a change in trends or the environment and so on. But with a leader of sustainable purpose, one that is not affected with any amount of wealth is a leadership that will strive through it all. In my line of work and career where your moral standards, your ethics, your beliefs will be tested in all angles, your hidden good works might not be appreciated and you see these people around you doing terrible things and yet they are praised, promoted and even rewarded. <gasps> And I learned that as a leader, it is important to never lose sight of the reason and purpose of why you're doing this and who you are doing it for. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.